Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kiraf Academy's virtual classroom. My name is Rin Chao Du. I am going to present to you a classical ballet class. And um, it is always fascinating to me that to think we are connected virtually from all over the world. I just see we have people from Europe, we have friends from South Africa, my friend Dirk is watching from Johannesburg. The technology is bringing us ever closer. And uh, this class actually is de developed during the pandemic because we are forced into a territory that we are familiar with. The question is how can we teach a ballet class virtually? The truth is, yes, we can. It's not ideal, but yes, we can. Actually, I'm connecting to more people than ever. I'm ballet, not just me. I'm a representation of the ballet, is serving the community in an unexpected but beautiful way. I know there's an emergency room nurse is watching or hearing my class. Somehow it help, helps them. Uh, and calming her down. It, it is un unbelievable the effect that are unexpected, but it's beautiful. I want to thank you for that. I have friends from Singapore now are going through a tough time, like everyone else. My heart go out to all my friends, and the people that I don't know in Singapore is watching. Please know that we're here for you. Although virtually, but we're together. <sighs> Let's begin. Fifth position, please. center one and two put your heel down beautiful plie three and four push up five with plie on six point seven and eight to the back the same thing one and two beautiful head three and four and five gently down six seven and eight last time one and two three and four simply tongue and to the other side seven eight same thing tongue Plie, tendu, flex, tendu, in. That goes front side, back. Last time to the side goes. One and two, feel your center, three and four. Transfer to the other side, six, seven, eight. Right arm up, two and three, little breath. Come right back. Other side. Fall back. Turn, at the usual, forward and back. Forward. And back. Face the ball, plie, roll up. Front your bottom, push forward. Lengthening hip, chin up, shoulders down, stomach in. And try to low, gentle balance. Okay? Take another deep breath to start.
do you know? How do you know your knees are over your toes? Because I talked about this a lot in doing it before. Please, this knee has to line up with your toes. And she says, how do you know that? It's a very good question because you're not going to look at it in the middle of the classroom. But I always feel the demi plie, how to gauge a demi plie, is when you open your knee, you can really, you cannot really open your knee without the bottom, your rotator push forward. So in order for a thing to keep it in place, you have a force come on one side, the other from the other, that keep it in place. Because if I only have a force come in one direction, that thing will not keep in place because it will fall, right? Same thing. I open my knee, I encourage you to turn it out. Cannot happen without the rotator pushing forward, okay? The th second most important thing about the plie, since we talk about the uh, plies, it has to go as deep as possible. How? What is it? is as deep as to the point where you cannot go any longer without lifting your heels. That's where the demetria should end. Okay? So go, go as deep as possible until the moment that you have to lift your heel in order for the plie to go on. That's your demetria. Okay? Good. Let's do plie. So we have to keep your arm to the second. Okay, forward, knee open, down, and up, down, and up. Relevant, look at my arm. And I go to a beautiful back bend. Open, ground here, two and three and four. Head, follow the hand, come right to the bar. Head, hand, leg together. This movement has to happen together. To second position, same thing. Down, up, down, up. Same thing. One, and two, three, and four. Ground clear, two, and three, four. On the side, and six, seven, and the eight. Fourth position, toward the diagonal. Two to me, clear. We do one, and two, forward. Back bend, three, and four. Fifth position, four. Ground plate, six, seven, and eight. Comrade right forward. Comrade right forward. Oh, I'm sorry. Comrade right back and forward, up and finish. Okay? Back, forward, up and finish. Okay, follow me, please. First position.
the same time to the replace of both position. Okay.
Now, let's do another uh, tondu, a little faster. Tondu, a little faster tondu. To answer one of the audience members' um, question, how do I, what is the, what is the sign to tell me that my supporting side is engaged and being supportive and useful? I talk about this a lot. First, you have to feel your bottom. They cannot be loose. You, this muscle, you have to feel, you have to have a, a sensation of the rotator. Right? It is not neutral. You should never be neutral position. You're rotator in a classical dancing technique. Your rotator should always be tight. It should be a diagonal. Flat, a diagonal. Second thing is when we do tondu like this, it's a fast tondu coming up, okay? Now every now and then check, am I shaking around? Am I being uncontrollable? Let's say I have a three tondus fast. Is, a, is a my supporting leg moving around? If it is moving around, that indicates that supporting side did not, is not giving you enough support. So it should feel like this, one in, one in, one. A1, 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 you see? It's not moving. And try very hard because that is going to help you so much when the bar is not there. Right now, the bar is all concern, it is all support. When we come to the center, when the bar is not there, who is going to be your support in all business? Is your back, your rotator, everything behind to promote. This vulnerability, this softness, graceful and beauty, and everything else we see in the front. Okay? Let's go. Faster tone. We do. Fit, fit, fit. And down. Two, to the back. Back, two, three. Could it be Plie. And. Side, side, side. And down. Look at my back. And in. Fifth, 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 plie, up, back, two, three, and down, big deal, plie, down, up, in, 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 and plie, up, side, 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 and front, and two, back, side, front, plie, open, pull the bra forward, Arm to the side. Put the right to the side. Open. Use your rotator to push. All the way to the back. Change your arm. Side. Open. Finish. Let's go to it. Okay?
this point class you should feel a little bit of uh, sweating. Yeah, I feel like in the middle of my spine, <sighs> running from my ear. Yeah, good. Work as hard as you can. I've said this before. The home environment will come on quarantine at home. This class, I don't want you to treat it as some kind of a warm-up class. It is not. Although it's my responsibility to design a class as suitable for your home environment. But the approach is as professional, as genuine, as disciplined, has the same amount of integrity as if you're in a studio. This is the only way to work. Okay? Move forward. Let's do envelope and polish balls. Okay? So it goes like this. It goes and one. See, it's so simple. And Six and seven and eight. Develop it and one and two and three and four little faster and five and six and seven eight and one and two and one and two and one and two and one two and out. And two, and out, and two, and a five, and six, and seven, eight. Okay? Visualization, articulation. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Back, back, 
back, brush, 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 front, 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 brush, brush, brush. Hold to fifth, and fifth, and fifth, and fifth, five times, change your legs. In, 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 head. There's no question about it. The five fast jetting to the side. Side, 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 side. How many legs working together? Two legs. You only see one working. The other is the unsung hero. Two legs working. I think even the inside leg work even harder. Okay? Especially the last set of five to the side. It's not quite as good as I would like to be. But I keep working on it. I keep working on it. Wrong with them. Wrong with them. It goes. Okay, 
We're going to run. Clear, back, one, two, three. Clear, back, one, two, three. As high as possible. One, two, three, fifth. Kick, same time, inside leg, clear. One, two, and three, four. The whole thing to the back. Then follow me with the portal bars. Okay? Big range. Big.
fondue front and lift and tomb cushion push it back fondue side head I almost see the back of my shoulder pushing back one and two three and four this is your five this is your six, this is your seven, and eight, and to the back, one, two, back, front, two, two, side, back, one, and two, and three, and four, let's do um, You have to brush to the back. This is your five. Don't go up relevant. Just on flat. This is your six. I really need you to feel the six. And then this is your seven. And you understand? When you face the bar, go up to relevant. Five, six, seven. Come around on the dome. You do five on flat to six. So be safe. Six. Seven on flat. Okay. All right. Let's go to a place. Left side. Thank you. 
right. Let's move forward. Let's do front leg. Let's do front, 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 front. And uh, back. I prefer higher, yes? Back, 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 back. Ekati de One, two, one, two, three. Piti bottom mom with put a bra. Six, seven, eight. On the note. One, two, one, two, three. Front, front, one, two, three. And one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ecate de rear. We look away from the leg. Ecate de vent. We look toward the leg. One difference. Second difference is the feeling. Ecate de rear. I always feel like the balcony. Somebody called my name. Hey, Richard. I said, Who's that? That's Ecate de rear's head. You were not said. Who's there? No. Who's there? Right away. Remember, there's a balcony right there. Over the balcony. Ecarte de vent. You have to look behind the arm. If you do that, the position will be right. Look, not in front. Behind the arm. Behind the arm. Yeah? Okay. Go to it. The whole thing is all relevant. Okay? And five and 
six and seven and eight. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. We're done. Okay? Down, up, down, up, with up here, with up here, triple leg. Directly on the up. In, out, in, out, out, out. and giving combinations, I suggest at least in upper level students, you know, very subtle, in some kind of stretch position like this. You see what I'm doing? I'm looking at the teacher. You see? I'm looking at the teacher. For younger students, teacher want you to stand still. Very important. Discipline. Listen to your teachers. Don't do anything else. But upper level, do a little plea. I'm still focusing with instructions from, from my teacher. I put my hand on the body. See what I'm doing here? Yeah, nothing distracting. Warm up my ankle. Like that. Stretch a little bit. Something like this I love. You see? I'm still looking at my teacher. I don't ever recommend you turn away back to your teacher. That's absolutely no no. When teacher talking to you, you should always have visual contact. It doesn't matter where your shoulder is. I can be like this. I never lose my connection with my teacher. You should never look away or back to the teacher. That's absolutely no. OK? 
okay? For students, you understand. Okay, let's take about 5 to 10 seconds break for Instagram students and we restart in, within 10 seconds. Okay, still stay tuned. Let's do stretch. We're back, okay? Let's do stretch. Just it's slow enough and follow me. So you have your right leg on your chair on your bar. I recommend. I, I think at the back of a couch. If you have a sofa like a couch, have this high, it, it's the best. It's very solid. Move around a lot. You can, okay? You're not worried about kicking in anything like that. Softer. Okay. Otherwise. You do what you need to do doing for this combination. If your chair is not suitable for you to have your leg on your chair, do what we need to do, okay? On the floor, stretch. Ready? Follow me, okay? Six, seven, and eight. To the side, same concept. Run over the first. One and two and three and four. Inside leg. Five, six, seven, and eight. 
Continue on. Outside leg. We do one and two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight. To the back. One, two, three, four. All there. All there. Through the front. One more time. One, two, three, four. Pass in five, six. I'm sorry. Pass in five, stay up. Six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, stay up, eight. Now, One, two, three, and four. Fold in five, and six, seven, and eight. Look at my hand. One, two, three, four. Okay? Alright, let's go to it, please. The difference is uh, the relevant long, relevant long without passe. Yeah? Toes leave the floor like that. Toes leave the floor. And gradual speed. It is not a kick. Gradual. Gradual. And down. Uh, inside. Fold in five. Passe six, seven, eight. Watch my toes to the side. You see? Pushing leave the ground. Two and three and four. And five say they want. Five and six. Seven tallest to eight. Then you do one, two, three, four, and five. Pass a six, seven, and eight. To the back. And two, all layer three, all layer four, and five, six, seven. Okay?
hold that extra second means the world. It means absolutely the world. Like the end of the duration. Stay. Now you finish. That's the difference between great and just good. Make that extra second. Pure. Yourself. It's come from training. It's things like this. The graph you want to take you down, you want to fight for the last second. We talk about the idea of deposit. This idea of the deposit in your body. You will be rewarded later on when your teachers pre prepare you for a competition, teaching you variation. It's there for you. Okay? Let's do. Let's do a grab up now, please. Let's do Let's do two to the front. We'll do N one, N two, N three. Four step. N five, N six. And seven, eight to the back. One and two and three. Come down four and five, six, seven, eight and one. And let's do it here. Two and three, much better. Four and five and six and seven.
I, I'm speechless to really realizing that. For those of you, 12.30, taking a ballet class. I don't know what to say, except thinking. It's because people like you are pushing me forward and making me do better and give me the encouragement, give me the courage to do what I do because I know there's a purpose, very important. There's a purpose in everything we do. My purpose is very simple, to helping you so you can move forward, very simple. Either face a new day or face something challenging unpredictable, even experiencing some sorrow. I always said this is actually a battle placement. Put your head up. Right away. I feel there's more in me. Right away. Lift your chin. That's battle position. Okay, but at the same time, it helps me to move forward, to face the unknown, to face the uncertainty, to face the fear. Put your chin up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a photo bar. Come to the center. Let's do one, two, three, and four. Look at the hand and side. Pull the bar all the way to the side. Change. To the back. One, two is here. Look at the right hand. Three and four. Put the video down as you go through the put the with the right hand. Look back, chin down, look front. And the third time we'll do this combination. I think it's important. Okay? So I do believe that it needs a few times for us to feel the arms, feel the legs, feel your head, feel your epomo. Epomo, to me, it's not a position, ladies and gentlemen. Epomo, it is a, a, a body part, right? it's a neck. But to me, it is not a stale position. It's a feeling. Epomo is needs to be felt, not placed. For example, you see? You have to feel your epomo. If you don't have the feeling of the epomo, if you don't teach it to you, just put your head here, that's not epomo, that's just a head position. Epomo is a feeling of expression at a particular area, the ranging from your chin all the way, your shoulder, this triangle right here. This is your neck, your shoulder area. It needs to be felt. It needs to be coordinated with your chin and your shoulders. No one movement toward one direction without the other part of your body to accompany that movement. You see? Look at my head. My head goes back. If my shoulder does not engage with this chin, this is, is not a problem. That's it. It's an expression from one particular area of your body, which is between chin and your shoulder, this triangle right here. It has to be expressive. And it's training for you to feel the epomo. Okay, that's what I'm doing right now. Ready?
do something. Similar to what we had on the board. We do and one, hold, two, three, and four, and front, and back, brush, brush, in, half us, and front, and back, front, and back, passe, fifth, and single turn. Finishing clear, head, fifth, pull, and in, and in, and down, and over, one, two, three, and front, and back. We talked about this half the face to the audience. Front, and clear, passe. Yeah, and everything together, finish, and down. Let's mark music once, just to make sure. Lots of shoulders, lots of head, okay, please. Just mark.
I won't move. I won't move. see you, but I want to remind you. I want to give you something to consider. Watch my fifth position, everybody. Fifth. What is the fifth? Have to cover the entire back foot. That's not fifth. That's actual position. It's called third. It's not fifth. Fifth has to be covered the entire foot. Fifth, more important to the back. Fifth, we often leave or heel back up. A bad habit. Fifth, put your heel down so I can transfer. Put your heel down. Identical positions. Don't settle for third, please. Because that's you're gonna pay for it later on. Ladies do consecutive fifth position turns, jumps, gentlemen do double tours. The third position will never gonna work. Okay? Fifth. One more time, please. Let's do jeté. The whole thing in jeté. Okay? Same idea, same combination, but tendu comme jeté. Similar to the bar. Form to front, tone it forward, pushing back. Form to side, tone to the side with the head. your rest to you guys. And back. One of us. Side. One. Pushing back. Don't be afraid. One to the back. Head three and four. And creepier. And passe. And arabesque. And finish. I think we need to mark music once. It's just to make sure. Just to make sure, okay? Don't lock your body bra, please.
do on flat, completely, totally fine. Okay? But the essence of the plie of the fondue should be there. Whether you go on demi relevé or not, but the plie, knee over the toes, the quality of the plie has to be there. challenging. The music is a little bit too fast. A little bit. But th 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 that's okay. That's why it is so important. I know many of uh, us can't. But it's so important to have a ballet class, to have a live accompanist. Or Kirov, Kirov Academy's class, ballet classes, or technique classes have a live accompanist including partner and character, everything. It is, to me, the class should be conducted that way. It should be, it's not luxury. It has to be, the ballet class has to be taught by two teachers. Technique teacher, of course, principal teacher, and accompanist. It is designed that way and it should be dealt that way. Okay, but we're doing, if you don't have, in this case, where at home don't have that kind of luxury, as I said before, I miss what accompanies tremendously. Let's do it again. Left side, please. Yeah. Ready? Listen to music. So, so one, plié two, passe three, plié four, single turn five, and six, and so, so seven, and eight. So pass the relevant one, plié two, passe three, plié four, and single period, and six, and look at the path of my arm in front of me, not below. And third position, seven and eight. Just like that. Okay, just imagine, ladies, especially for you. You have a tutor right here. 
You're not going to touch in the tutu. You're not going to do this. In front. On top of the skirt. You see? So, preparation. And look, I, I, I'm not anywhere near my leg. Don't go there. Elange. Look at my arm. You see? Now, imagine your skirt there. On top of the skirt. On top of the skirt. Important. Okay? To visualize that. So those movement, those put them right there for a reason. Okay? Let's go to it, please. from the back, same thing. Okay? Let's try it again, please. You do it. Or single or four. Same mechanism. Same concept. One more time, please. Look, I'm not jumping. 
Squeak, scoop the floor. Four times. One, two, three, four. I think it leads to eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Knee over the toes. One, two, see that's a clear combination. Four, five, six, seven, eight. A little elevation, little one. So I can feel clear. I can feel clear. So one, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the last set, uh, last set is a four so takes in the first position. But I want you to hold in the clear position. Okay. I don't want to hear anything. If you live in an apartment, if your neighbor below you say, hey, what's going on? I'm trying to sleep. You're not doing your job right. Okay? Let your neighbor sleep. Don't make any noise. <sighs> Unprecedented situation. But you're doing so, so beautiful. I'm so proud. So proud of all of us. First position, please. Second position. One and two, three and four. On the car. On the car goes. On the car. On the car. Go there. It's faster. One, two, three. Finish. Left side. One and two and change, change, change. A little bit of one goes a long way, but I don't want you to go corner or corner. Look, just little chin. You see? Chin and shoulder. I told a lot of story already. I told a big story. Look at me. See? I just told a story. That's it. That's all it takes. One, two, one, two. Sorry, left side. One, two, one, two, three. And chin and two. One, two, three. Second, fifth. Second, fifth. And one, two. Then we do and five and six and seven and eight. I think we need to mark the music points. Ready? Just mark, please. Just make sure. E, A, change, change, change.
killer. But we made it. We made it very nicely. Alright, she go. It's awesome. Hear the music once, Miss Erin, please. hours you allowed me to clean my mind to be positive to be courageous not to be afraid because there's a lot of fear out there a lot of fear we're together no more fear let's do put up on us in fifth position Thank you. 
Thank you. Do we have um, a couple minutes left? Let's uh, answer some of the questions that you have, okay? Someone asked, if my thighs and knees don't touch in first position, is that a problem? That means your heels are too far apart. Yeah? So put your heels together in clear position. Push your bottom forward, inner thigh open, gently squeeze your knees. I guarantee you, everything will be touching. Yeah? I think if you're in second position, you're not supposed to, but if you're in first position, the fifth position, the inside, everything's touching. Yeah? Next question. How do you find your center again? It depends in which position. Your center, everybody have a center. The center is what we call it. The core, the power, uh, the powerhouse. It's essentially your stomach, in this area right here. You know why? Because this is the area it needs to be paid extra attention because this is an area connects your torso, your upper body, and your lower body. It only to be held by the spine in the back. You have rib cage here, you have hip there. Only your core area relying on your ab, your stomach muscle to hold together. In dancing, it's particularly important. Find your center. For example, in fifth position, your center has to be, just listen to the word, in the middle of your body, okay? So from your forehead, your nose all the way down, that is your, is your center. However, your center shifts, because it shifts, your center shifts. For example, when you talk you to the side, am I going to stay still? No. I shift my weight slightly, slightly to the supporting side to allow my working leg to go out to second. That's your center now. If you don't do the shift, you're not on your center. Your leg is not free. For our center, at this moment, it's right here. As long as the leg is free to move, that's your center. Okay, so for me, if the center on one leg, the, he the hip has to line up approximately with your toes. That's the gauge for me. Your weight should never be on the heel because if you're so vulnerable, a little touch you off, your weight should be on the ball of the foot. That's your center. Okay? Uh, the Tondu and Bhatma Jate combination in the center, can it be done on Dan as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, what, so what, 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 the, what about the tongue do we had? Same thing to the back. And one, hold two, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, seven, eight. Back, front, back, front, back, two, on the top. And you go to the left side. Beautiful. All body combinations should be reversed because it's logical. Yeah? Good job. Very good thinking. Um, the question is how to improve our pirouettes. I noticed that some people are really weak on that. Do you have any tips? And then someone else comments about it saying focusing, the focusing part is my nightmare. The focusing part. You literally have, teacher will give you a hundred things to think about, but at the heat of the moment, can you really process all that notes? My teacher told me to do this, this, and no. It's your muscle memory takes over. However, one thing I always think about, let's for example, if you have fifth position to pass it on the wall, okay? It's most one of the most common term. And I, I believe that period, if you manage to do fifth position correctly, you should be doing all directions. I was learned from the second. My teacher said, if you take off on the wall from the second, which is the hardest, if you know how to do that, you should be able to take off from all, all directions. But they all share a common theory, which is 
the passe leg has to go to the side immediately. That is a common no matter what, from second, from fifth, from fourth. This knee, I have said it before, it always has to go to next year as quickly as possible. Now we, today we talk about the magnum. You see, never meandering way up. Also, the idea of elbow. Left arm should never cross to the right. Right arm should never cross to the left. Even. Absolutely even. Okay? The other thing, don't wind. Like this. I see this so many times, and that is wrong. Please. You see, I'm helping myself. I'm already going the, to the direction I want to go. Don't do this. Okay? Then spot your head. Very important. And you leave your head and you spot. Leave your head and spot. So arm right to in the middle of your body. Pass it like go right to the side. Pelvis forward. Support the leg. Dig in. Spot your head and spread around. And as strong as possible. So I just told you a hundred things. Okay? Keep it, keep it, and keep it. Hopefully you don't have to think about it. Your body just take over. One day that will happen. Keep going. Thank you so much. Very nice job. Thank you. Have a nice week. Thank you.